guys. It's uh, 25 after 6 here. As you see, I just woke up. I should beat my wake up call. I'll be coming here at 6 30. I kind of slept in and out. Not real great. Not bad. We did have a lot of ice last night, I think. I could hear it. And, uh, oh yeah. It's, uh, wonderful out there. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but, uh, see how shiny that is? Yeah. There's, uh, there's ice everywhere. So I gotta get up here, get motivated, get ready, and get dressed, and head down the lobby, get breakfast, and then head over to the training facility. So let's hope to God that uh, everything goes well today. So, welcome to my vlog. Peace. Alright, I'm all cleaned up, ready to go. Got my teeth brush, hair brush, all that good shit. Um, just checking last minute items here. I, uh, for those of you guys that don't, or that are new to this, I bought a clipboard a while back. It's handy to carry it with you for when you're on the road to carry your paperwork in. I uh, bring it with me to orientation. It's got all my necessary stuff that I'm gonna need today, like my birth certificate, um, your uh, blank check for your uh, direct deposits, uh, passports, so not have another ID identification. And then if you guys are recently um, graduated from a CDL school, you need your uh, diploma so you can uh, show that you went to accredited school. So, so it's all in there. And um, now I'm going to go down. And uh, see what they got for breakfast. The one thing I'm not going to do is partake in a bunch of bacon and eggs and stuff, unfortunately, because they do do your blood pressure today. And I'm always borderline on my blood pressure because, well, I just am. So, needless to say, I'm not going to partake in any of that. Because I don't want to fail a blood pressure test. Because if you fail your blood pressure test, you are automatically disqualified. Uh, first time I got my physical, my uh, my low end of it was um, too high. You got to be under 90. I was at like, I don't know, I was a little over 90 because I was so stressed at my other job. Um, so I had to go back, but I was at home, so it was no big deal. I was just getting my DOT recertified, so... But when for a job, it was just, I had already carried my class B's. So I had to go ahead and get that recertified because you have to every two years. Um, now it's uh, with your company every year. So I want to make sure that my blood pressure is within the 120 over 80 range at least. So it's probably going to be bagels and juice for me today. So anyway, I will probably holler at you guys here in a few. All right, everybody, I'm here at the uh, Physician's uh, Center, the medical exam where you take your DOT physical and your drug screen. Um, orientation's cool. They brought us over, brought us up, showed us some clips. We had a couple people. Everybody's really nice. Everybody says hi. Um, we went through a couple slides. It wasn't real long. We had an ice storm, so we got out here, and uh, I got in here, and uh, I've been worried about that medication. So I get in there and my blood pressure is 136 over 100, which needs to say is not good. But, and, um, so they had to get me the least 
they, they'll take 140 over 90 is the highest they'll go. So I had to get my bottom down. So we took it three more, two more times and it still wasn't down. So their doctor who's wonderful, he comes and talks to me and he allows my medication. Says, yeah, you're fine. I had no, it was fine. So right away I felt relaxed. And then he goes, how long do you do something? He has me do breathing exercises with him. And um, then he grabs my arm and he puts the thing on my arm and he goes, okay, now keep breathing like this. In and out through your nose. In and through your nose, out through your mouth. Like, kind of like a meditation. Dropped at 20 points just like that. I ended up with 122 over 82. Yeah. So that was awesome. I was scared because I seriously was thinking I was heading home because one third, I've never been that high. I it had to be anxiety. So um, we're finishing up here, waiting everybody to get done. There's seven people in my class, so it's taking a little while. And uh, we're all non smokers, so that's cool. And then we're going to head back to the uh, facility and do some more stuff. So I'll have some more for you later. But uh, that's up to date as of right now of what we do on first day of orientation. I just now got back from orientation day one. It's 6 o'clock here in Iowa. Orientation started at 8 o'clock. Uh, as you know, I got up at 6.30, went down and ate breakfast. Um, I can't remember at this point. I've had so much information thrown at me, and I'm really tired because I didn't sleep well last night. Plus, uh, lunch got me, which I'll get to that later. But um, anyway, so... You go downstairs here, the, the, the hotel breakfast is awesome. It's, I mean, it's eggs, pancakes, waffles, biscuits and gravy, hash browns, bacon, bagels. I mean, it's it's a deluxe breakfast. It's really, really good. Um, I stayed away from a lot of stuff today because we had our physicals and I didn't want my blood pressure being high, so I stay away from the bacon and stuff. All right, so the shuttle gets here, and we had an ice storm, so we were running a little late, so the shuttle gets us over there. And a guy named Tim greets us, real nice guy, kind of tells us a little bit in the main lobby about the stuff. He's got pictures up and so on and so forth. Uh, shows us where all the bathrooms are, shows us where vending machines are, then takes us up to the orientation room. Um, the orientation room, it's like any other room, small room, got a projector, all good stuff. But um, we go over a couple slides real quick. Um, you go over the Smith system. If you don't know what the Smith system is and you're a truck driver watching this then you didn't pay attention in school so I'm not going to spend any time on a Smith system but you go over to Smith system they're very heavily involved in that um, but and then we uh, then we had to go run we waited for the weather to clear up and we went and got our physicals and our drug test but um, so all was pa packed in one of their vans and we went down to their med check center where whatever they use and there was seven of us that ended up making it to here. There were supposed to be ten. Three of them didn't make it because of weather. But, um, yeah, we ended up going to get our physicals and our drug test. But you do the regular old stuff. Blood pressure. You do your, you know, stupid human tryst. Kneel down, stand up, push all the stuff. Um, take your height and weight. Do your collar. Do your audible. Regular DOT physical. Uh, do your drug test and all that stuff. But you come back, uh, before we left, they gave us, um, or you come back and, uh, you eat lunch. So, uh, we ate lunch and then after lunch we went through slides, um, started going through a lot of, uh, safety videos, but, um, handbooks and stuff. Didn't get in a lot of detail about things. The only detail they went through was hours of service. They were heavily into that and doing the paper logs because everything's electronic log, but if your Qualcomm breaks down or you get put in a rental truck, you need to have a paper log. So basically, you had to go through that, and we went through all that, but then we went through um, stuff we're going to go tomorrow. He handed out um, basically your handbook and your other, there's just a bunch of books. Um, we got homework, too, and when I say homework, I'm not joking. Like We, we literally have a test to take, so... But you get like a West Side Transport booklet. And it's pretty cool. It actually comes in handy. So when you go to stops, like but the last company I was with told me to keep pe uh, notebook paper with me all the time. This actually has everything on it that you can write down. Bills of lading, shipper address, all that stuff. So, But they gave us one of those. And then, but, um, 
let's see here. They have a mobile app. So they gave us a thing for their mobile app where you can send your bills of lading and all that stuff. We got our driver codes, which you'll need to log into the app. But uh, their drug and alcohol policy tests, of course. Or, I mean, uh, handbook. Um, this is their benefits package. I'll be honest with you, uh, their benefits to me aren't that great. I'm, I'm going to get straight up. Um, but their 401k, uh, it's not really that good at all. It's really bad, actually, I think. Um, they only match at half a percent up to six. They don't match you dollar for dollar. So do they match you, you know, if you put in six, they'll give you $3. Uh, we were talking about it's actually not really very good at all, but it's better than nothing. Um, but, yeah, they've got, you know, your insurance, uh, HSA, FSA, all that stuff in there. But I'm not taking it because I'm on my wife's. But, you know, they go through that. I'll just just touch on it. Tomorrow's the one you go into detail and everything. Today was kind of just introducing you to the company and everything. But you get that. And then you get your paper log books. Uh, for those of you that have never filled out a paper log, let me show you what it looks like. So we had to log today's events on here because technically we're working today. So since we got driving on Wednesday, we, you have to keep eight days worth of logs. So since we're not on a Qualcomm, we, we need every day that we've been working up until now, even though we're not driving. So basically, we have to write down all these because it counts towards your hours of service. So we had to keep our logbooks for today, what to do tomorrow, and then depending on Wednesday, what to do Wednesday. Then you get the handbook. You got a handbook here and another one here. Uh, it's got some safety and stuff in it. Uh, basically policies, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, just your normal company, company stuff. But here's one thing that got me though. They said they needed um, either a birth certificate or social security card or a passport. So I brought a copy of my passport. Or I'm sorry, I brought my passport and a copy of my um, birth certificate. They told me neither one will work. They said we need your social security card or your original birth certificate. I said I was told my passport on the phone would be fine. They go, yeah, well, they changed it. I need to tell the recruiters to stop doing that. Well, so news say I got to so go to the social security office tomorrow, be and pick up a birth certificate or social security number, whatever i have to go to the social security office tomorrow to get that because i was told wrong even though i brought a copy of my birth certificate and a passport just to be safe so but that's neither here nor there um when i say homework i am not joking i don't know if you can tell how thick that is i'm talking you know your w-2s insurance stuff uh, benefit stuff, uh, company stuff. There's a test back here of 37 questions, but so you got all that to do tonight. So I have to have that done tonight. And that was it for as far as day one goes on that part. Um, but I will tell you guys in helping you out, I rented a car camper as you guys know if you've watched. Talking to all the guys, which everyone in there rode the bus but me. There's seven of us in there. Uh, one guy lives here. The other five rode the bus here. And they said it was absolute hell. And I mean hell. They said there was one guy on there that was talking to himself. Saying, the devil ain't gonna get me. The devil ain't gonna get me. And he was all freaking out and stuff. And basically it was, uh, you know, everybody on there was sick. So everybody in here was sick. I wouldn't be surprised if we all end up sick this week, but... It took them uh, 15 hours to get here from, uh, but where'd he come from? I can't remember where they came from. One of them came from Cincinnati, but then his bag got lost because they don't automatically transfer your bags. Uh, bottom line is, I'm telling you right now, but my my ticket from Indianapolis to here would have been 120 bucks, so they reimbursed me the 120. But um, Cincinnati's ticket was two twenty five, so basically rent a car. It's worth the extra money. Trust me, it's it's so worth it. I ended up spending two hundred dollars for a car, so I spent eighty dollars for a car because I'm getting one hundred twenty back, and I made it here in six hours, and I didn't have to deal with any of that. I mean, they said it was horrible. So, the biggest lesson learned today: do not ride the bus. I mean, they said it was free, but hey, I'm telling you, man. 
if you got the cash, you might as well do it. I mean, they pay, they reimburse you 120 bucks or however much the ticket is. Like mine was 120, his was 225. Um, some other things. Everybody there was really nice. I mean, it was a great place to be. Um, but everybody, I mean, even drivers, shop guys, like the whole atmosphere of the place was awesome. Everybody said hi to you. Drivers like, hey guys, how you guys doing today? I mean, it, the whole morale of the place was awesome, which is really cool because I, I was really looking at that. But you could tell everybody really enjoyed it. I mean, just joking around, smiling. But I didn't see one grumpy person. Their driver's lounge is cool. Had a pool table in it, vending machine, screen TV. But um, they're building a brand new building um, just down there. They took us to it. They got a fuel island, a scale. Basically, it's going to be a whole new headquarters, and it's huge. And it's going to be started in the spring. So the building we're in now is uh, going to be sold. Now, the company's not. They're just selling the building. This guy who owns this company is just ridiculously smart and he owns a lot of land and he's a genius and he's just not hurt for money but um anyway their biggest three carriers are international paper uh toyota forklifts and uh quaker quaker brand because quaker's got a big facility here uh one kid told me it's the headquarters another kid told me it's just a facility either way i'm telling you it's freaking huge it's the biggest one they said in in the nation and i believe it because it's like it's a skyscraper, literally downtown. But um, PepsiCo bought him, so um, this guy got into him because he used to work for Grain, and they had a big accident after a flood, and he helped him clean it all up, and then he ended up reaping awards by getting a freight from it. So basically, you got those three of your major carriers, and their national papers their biggest one. I guess they make a lot off of them. But uh, So they took us and showed us those. And um, but that's pretty much it for the first day of orientation, you know, because of your physical. The physical took a long time because there were seven of us, and, you know, we had to go back one at a time and so on and so forth. Um, and then, you know, of course, the uh, uh, hotel driver was late. He was supposed to be there at 5.15 to pick us up, didn't show up until a quarter till six. So uh, we're late getting back here. Um, some of us ate. They give you a menu, which I uh, I probably showed you earlier in the video, but uh, you get to pick your own food. Um, it, it's really cool if they do that. I mean, because the last place I was, is like they bought you pizza one day, and the next day you got chicken, next day you got Subway, and that was it. This is actual like a restaurant menu, and you pick what you want to eat, and they bring it to you. So like a lot of us got chicken today, and everyone else had chicken. I've got the bubble guts going on right now. I got a couple guys with me. We was joking, like they they couldn't wait to get back here to get in the bathroom because it was just it was tearing us up. So don't get the chicken. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, another bad thing is is I shouldn't say it's bad, but they do pay you mileage, but it's by zip code. It's called the. Uh, uh, Ram McNally's homeowners movers something or other I gotta look it up I can't remember but basically you get paid zip code to zip code so that kind of sucks I mean it's not horrible but at the same time it's not actual mileage so if you know you enter zip code uh, I don't know if it pays to the center of the zip code or how it works I can't remember but you gotta deal with that um, but I don't know if I'm hired yet because they have to wait through all the drug tests and the physicals um, I'm not worried about the drug test, but the physical I am because I passed my DOT physical and everything's fine, but um, the safety has it now, and that's where I got screwed the last two times was from the safety department. So until I hear from safety, I technically don't have any. None of us got hired today, though. No, nobody gets hired until, I think, Wednesday. So basically, we go through tomorrow with like in detail with like benefits, driver um, management, recruiters. I think uh, at one point we get to meet our trainers that we're going to go out with. Um, I think that happens stuff, but pretty much day one is just getting your DOT physical. We were supposed to drive today too, but we couldn't because of the ice storm. So we'll drive tomorrow. We'll do a road test. Um, so you have to do that. So probably if you come, you'll do your, do your do your road test on the first day. So really, that's really the first day of orientation. You just get your physical, and that takes a lot of time. You do you just go through the the slides and and the guy. I, I actually they I, you win money. Uh, they have cash questions. You get a dollar if you get it right. But I think I got like six bucks today, and you know I think they asked maybe twelve 
15 questions and um, so I got a dollar every time so basically I was getting free vending machine money you know so that was pretty cool but yeah they really go in detail of hours of service is the main thing today and getting your do 2 physical and then they just kind of brush on everything else and oh and the Smith system but that's pretty much it um, I'll have another video tomorrow of day two and let you know what goes on from there but right now as you see I have a lot of homework to do and um, I'd like to go get some dinner at some point so um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this vlog off I hope this was informative I don't think I forgot anything um, but I really wanted to mention the bus though because everybody said it was horrible so please if you're if you're thinking about coming up here get the car um, I think that's pretty much it um, if I forgot anything, I'll add it in tomorrow, but um, that's really in a nutshell everything, I believe. Um, tomorrow's going to be a full day in the classroom except for the driving, so that's kind of going to suck because it was nice. We actually spent time in physical day. You only had to spend like four hours in the class, so that was nice. But um, yeah, I'll get with you guys tomorrow and let you know how day two goes and get some more information on that. If you have any questions or comments about anything that maybe you wanted to know about Westside, um, a side that maybe I didn't answer today, uh, put it in the comments below and uh, I'll answer it for you. Um, as far as that goes, uh, it's no problem. I, I do what I can. If not, I'll answer it when I do find out. But uh, it's, a, it's a good company. I'm really, really excited about it. It's uh, definitely a place that uh, I think is going to be a good place to work. There are some things that were said in recruiting that we're trying to find out tomorrow if it's true or not because we're going back from the same thing with that. We heard this, then we're hearing this. So, But in all honesty, the guy that was with us today really didn't know the answer, so he just straight told us, I don't know, that's a question for such and such tomorrow. So basically, we're going to wait till tomorrow to do that. So, you know, hopefully the that comes out exactly like I said but so far in all honesty everything that they've said that has has been true and that's that's a lot saying a lot because not not all the companies do that so um like I said anything you need to know if you do leave a comment and uh, I'm sorry if I sound down I'm just tired it's been a long long day and I'm hungry so um I'm going to close it off right here and I'll have my next video for orientation day number two tomorrow you guys have a great night and don't forget to subscribe and like see ya